Welcome again to this Soul Moment program here at Church of Uganda Family TV. I'm enjoying very good water uh, in this wonderful cup that has a label of the place where I'm uh, preaching from, Kakumba Chapo Chambogo University, a community-based church glorifying God, Church of Uganda, Dice of Kampala, putting a roof on Musime Hall, Theme, Grace to Build for the Lord. 
This was last year's uh, souvenir cup. I bought it and uh, the proceeds from such cups was were going to this project of putting a roof on Musime Hall. Musime Hall is the chapel hall complex that uh, is now roofed. We thank God for giving us the money through those who gave generously. Earlier on, I spoke about some of those people. I now want to give thanks to God for all those who contributed. I have a list. It has many people. Some gave in millions. Some gave in hundreds of thousands. Some gave in thousands. Some came and gave physical items. You people, thank you very much. I also don't forget those who didn't have so much money, the ushers, some of them just gave their energy to be there and sell these items and make sure things are coordinated and sell pledge, bring pledge cards to you. Thank you very much and may God richly bless you. We are at it again. And this time, our aim is to do the finishes, especially the external finishes, and I pray that God will use us. Pray for us. All of you pray for us. Wherever you are, pray for us. But also you can send us money. You can send us contributions. This is God's work. It will be a blessing to the people who are here today. But more so to those who will come even 10, 20 years from now. I'm saying this because my predecessor chaplains laid the foundations and they put up this magnificent Kakumba Chapel in which we are worshipping today. So I know the work I'm doing today will be enjoyed even by those in the future. Of course, we are continuing with this topic of alive to God in Christ Jesus. And I can assure you, contributing to God's work, development work, is part of showing that you are alive to God. I can assure you there are some people who, when I'm talking about development work and contributions, their hearts are locked. They are feeling indifferent, saying, can you give us a, a word of encouragement? We are sick, we are needed, we are hungry, we want to hear something good from you. Don't tell us about contributions. People who are dead to the cause which is noble from God Almighty need to hear this message. That to be alive to God in Christ Jesus also means to be open-hearted to a cause that Jesus Christ, that God has brought to us. So let's go to the Bible and receive encouragement along this very line. And I'm reading to you from Haggai chapter number 1 verse 2 to 8. These are very ha, hard words in a way, but I know you will bear them because this is the word of the Lord. Haggai chapter 1 from verse 2 to 8. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, This people says, The time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then the word of the Lord came to by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses and this temple to lie in ruins? Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat but do not have enough. You drink but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves but no one is warm. And he who earns wages earns wages to put into a bag with holes. Mm -mm. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build the temple that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified, says the Lord. Friends, these were words that Haggai the prophet brings to a people that were busy constructing the second temple. You'll remember that the first temple that was, uh, be, was, was drawn, its plan was drawn by the great King David. Uh, and then Solomon, his son, when he became king, he constructed it using materials that had been gathered by King David. 
Uh, he mobilized laborers and they put up a magnificent temple. Uh, and uh, later on, many years down the road, because of people's rebellion, rebellion against God, somehow the Babylonians came and in 586 BC, they brought it down. After 400 years of its standing farm, it was brought down. It was crushed and raised to the ground. The city was set on fire. That is what God says. Well, that's what God means when he says people who reject him with their hearts, he can also take a holiday and go and hide himself. How could God let this temple be destroyed like that? But it was. But God says, I have a plan. And so he mobilized people 70 years down the road to come and start constructing it. Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Zechariah, Haggai, they came and started building together. But after some time, they took a holiday. And then some people said, we are tired. Some people said, we have given enough. Some people said, but what is all this for? And then some people started speaking words which are there in verse number 2. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, These people says, the time has not come. Some of them were saying, no, it's not yet time to build the house of the Lord. And God came and said, you people, is it time for you to dwell in your well-paneled houses? Yet my temple lies in ruins. And God said, no. That's why they were receiving curses. They didn't know that these things which were happening to them were because of a curse. From verse 6, up, verse six describes the calamities they were going through, the, 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 the challenges they were having. You have so much and bring in little. Some people's farms are not yielding good simply because they have not supported God's work. That's what this is literally telling us. You eat but do not have enough. You drink but you are not filled with drink. Th th that hunger, there is a hunger, friends, that cannot be satisfied with mere food. And I do this when I'm fasting and when I'm encouraging my friends to fast. I tell them there is a hunger that cannot be filled with mere food. Even Jesus once upon a time said, my food is to do the will of him who sent me. So, th th there is a hunger that just cannot be filled if we do not serve the Lord with what we have. You clothe yourself but are not warm. You earn wages only to put them in holes with pockets. In other words, after earning the money, somehow you don't know where it goes. Some of it drops down and disappears and just is lost. Some of it is just eaten by calamities and, uh, and all sorts of problems. And God is saying that is partly or even wholly because you have not responded to the call of God on your life in line with giving, in line with generosity. And while at Kakumba Chapel, we need to finish up the chapel hall complex. In your church, there may be another cause. I'm not just here to preach about our church. In your church, there may be another cause. Well, support ours, support yours, support the one you hear about. But let the Lord's need be addressed. Let not the Lord's need fall to the ground. Let not your ears be deaf to what the Lord is calling us to. Those people who encourage us in business, they say, don't just work harder. You also work smarter. Increase efficiency where a little effort will yield more results, will yield more output. That is efficiency. So in working smarter, even giving to the Lord will add to your smartness, will add to the assurance of getting more from that effort that you are putting in in your work. So I pray that God will draw you to himself, release your heart, bring that which you have and build his house and be blessed as he protects your your, your, your work as he protects your business as he blesses you and most importantly fills you with joy and satisfaction your soul refreshed healed and revived because of serving the lord god almighty the song that was sung earlier says here am i 
Here I am. Send me, Lord. Send me, Lord. God can send you through your money. God can send you to be a blessing to his people through your giving. May the Lord richly bless you and receive all your gifts and all your tithes and all your contributions to development work and make you a blessing indeed in his kingdom. God Almighty, to you alone belong greatness, power, glory, and majesty. Everything in heaven and on earth is yours. We only give to your cause, to your house, to the projects in your house from what you have given us. May you receive all that we give to honor you. Receive it, O Lord, and bless it. Make it a blessing, Lord. You will never run out of resources, but Lord, receive what we give. And may your blessing be upon all the generous people, all the givers, no matter the amount out of their hearts they have given. Bless them, Lord. Bless them in the country and in the city. Bless them as they come in and as they go out. Bless the work of their hands. Bless them in and out and may they see your great blessing in their lives and among their family members. May your blessing, God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, rest upon your children now and forever. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you and make you a blessing continually.